Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Jawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Sakhir Palace the representatives of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty the King a number of Bahraini youth on the occasion of Bahrain Youth Day celebrated on the 25th of March. The attendees greeted His Majesty the King and expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his patronage and support of the Kingdom's youth to contribute in Bahrain's civilizational development in all fields under His Majesty's leadership. Following a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, His Majesty the King delivered the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Sayyidi Hadrat Sahib al-Jalala الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته يسعدنا أن نرحب بكم في هذا الاحتفال بيوم الشباب البحريني وخير ما نبدأ به تلاوة عطرة من القرآن الكريم يتلوها على مسامعنا القارئ علي صلاح عمر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأدخل الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها بإذن ربهم تحيتهم فيها سلام ألم تر كيف ضرب الله مثلا كلمة طيبة كشجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت كلمة طيبة كشجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت وفرعها في السماء تؤتي أكلها كل حين بإذن ربها ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس لعلهم يتذكرون ومثل كلمة خبيثة كشجرة خبيثة اجتثت من فوق الأرض ما لها من قرار يثبت الله الذين آمنوا بالقول الثابت في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ويضل الله الظالمين ويفعل الله ما يشاء صدق الله العظيم يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعا بإلقاء كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إنه لمن دواعي الاعتزاز ومن منطلق الاهتمام الوطني الكبير بشؤون الشباب والحرص على متابعة أداءه تحقيقاً لتطلعاته 
أن نتوجه لهم في يومهم هذا بكثير من التقدير لما يقدمونه من جهد مخلص لرفعة وتقدم البحرين الغالية وبالدعوات الصادقة بأن تكون أيامهم جميعها حافلة بالإنجاز المشرف والعطاء الممتد وهم يتجهون بخطوات واثقة نحو مستقبلهم الواعد بالخير الوفير بإذنه تعالى ومن منطلق هذا الحرص والاهتمام نواصل في توجيه أصحاب المسؤولية والاختصاص في الحقل الشبابي للارتقاء بشؤونه ولتطوير برامجه المخصصة لشبابنا وشاباتنا الذين نشهد لهم تفوقا ملحوظا على كافة الأصعدة الوطنية والدولية خصوصا في الفترة الحرجة التي تطلبت صبرا كبيرا وعملا استثنائيا في مواجهة مخاطر الجائحة ليكونوا على قدر ثقتنا بهم في تولي مسؤولياتهم الوطنية والقيادية في شتى المواقع والبحرين تواصل سيرها إلى الأمام نحو التعافي التام بعون الله وبهذه المناسبة الطيبة نوصي شبابنا بالمحافظة على مقدرات البحرين الغالية وبحمل أمانتها بعزيمة المخلصين وبتحصين نموذجها الإنساني الداعي للتعايش والتسامح وبصد كل ما يمس وحدتنا الوطنية أو ينتقص من مكتسباتنا والله نسأل أن يعينهم على ذلك كما يسعدنا أن نوجه مع احتفالنا بيوم الشباب بتسمية هذا العام بعام الشباب البحريني احتفاء بهم وبنجاحاتهم مع خالص تمنياتنا لهم جميعا بالتوفيق والسداد في تحقيق آمالهم وتحويل طموحاتهم إلى واقع جميل في رحاب وطن الكرام وكل عام وأنتم بخير شكرا His Majesty the King directed to name one of the Kingdom's streets the Bahraini Youth Street in appreciation of their role in serving their country and their efforts in developing their skills for its benefit. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr. Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad also delivered a speech in which he praised the achievements of the Bahraini youth thanks to the support of His Majesty the King. The minister said that Bahrain today is celebrating the anniversary of His Majesty's founding of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports in 1975. And today they are celebrating the first Bahraini Youth Day. Mr. Al Moyed added that Bahrain is celebrating the designation of 2022 as the year of Bahraini youth. He added that the youth of Bahrain raised the flag of the country in all forms of the world, praising the role of His Majesty the King and harnessing the skills of the youth and also hailed the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in this regard. He also praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in opening opportunities and doors for the youth, as well as harnessing their skills. ونحتفل فيه بيوم الشباب البحريني الأول ونحتفل بتسمية عام 2022 بعام الشباب البحريني ونحتفل بشباب شرفوا بلدهم ورفعوا رايته عاليا في جميع المحافل وفي جميع أركان العالم وحملوا معهم نشيدهم الوطني ورسالة السلام والتعايش والعروبة والقيم والأهم يا حضرة صاحب الجلالة أن الشباب البحريني يحتفل اليوم بولي أمر آمن بأن البحرين غنية بشبابها وآمن 
بأن الرهان عليهم والاستثمار فيهم مضمون ويحتفل اليوم الشباب البحريني اللامع بحكومة رشيدة وضعت ملف شؤون الشباب في قلب البرنامج الحكومي الذي يشرف عليه صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظ الله ورعاه ويحتفل الشباب البحريني بشيخ الشباب ممثل جلالتكم للأعمال الإنسانية وشؤون الشباب سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة حفظه الله ورعاه الذي يقود ملف الشباب بروح الشباب وبطاقة من, من الشباب والذي فتح لهم الفرص والبيبان وصقل مهاراتهم حتى أصبح الشباب البحريني نخبة من نخب شباب العالم إلى أن جعل سموه من البحرين عاصمة للشباب وواحة من الأمل وأخيرا صاحب الجلالة يحتفل الشباب البحريني اليوم بإنجازات وبرامج لا سابق لها في المنطقة فقد أصبح ملف الشباب البحريني حديث الساعة ومحط أنظار من الشرق إلى الغرب من جامعة الدول العربية إلى رئاسة منظمة الأمم المتحدة هذه الإنجازات يا سيدي ما هي إلا ثمار رؤية جلالتكم فالشكر لكم يا صاحب الجلالة من جيل لامع ممتن ومحب جيل يعاهد جلالتكم على مواصلة الإنجاز والتألق وأن يمثلوا المملكة ورؤية جلالتكم خير تمثيل وكل عام وجلالتكم والشباب البحريني بخير ودمتم سيدي الداعم الأول للشباب البحريني ولهذا الوطن المعطاء والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يتشرف سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة مستشار الأمن الوطني رئيس المجلس الأعلى للشباب والرياضة بتقديم هدية تذكارية His Honor Sheikh Nasser then presented His Majesty with a commemorative gift marking the occasion. ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the General Sports Authority and Chairman of the Bahrain Martial Arts Council, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Secretary General of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, and the President of the Bahrain Cycling Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of the second phase of the Nasser bin Hamad Amateur Cycling Tour organized by the Cycling Federation in cooperation with Events Company for a distance of 85 kilometers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the wide participation in the second phase, 
which confirms the progress of the tour in achieving its goals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the success of the first and second stages will be an incentive for distinguished conclusion through the third stage tomorrow, Saturday, praising the efforts of the Bahrain Cycling Association and all committees and referees in bringing out the second stage in the best organizational and technical way. At the end of the race, cyclist Abdullah Ali won the first place. Cyclist Sabir Muhammad won the white shirt for age over 40. Cyclist Jasim Muhammad won the blue shirt for age under 23. And cyclist Abdullah Faqih won the green shirt. Abdullah Ali won the red shirt and Ali Hassan won the golden shirt. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Nasser bin Hamad First Amateur Cycling Tour, organized by the Cycling Federation in cooperation with Events Company, was launched. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that cycling is of great importance in order to continue advancing the cycling sport and benefit from young people in the national teams in the coming period. His Highness indicated that spreading the culture of cycling is one of the goals that have been set from this first tour for amateurs. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the wide participation in the first stage, stressing his keenness to provide the support needed to them in order to achieve the desired goals. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the outstanding efforts made by the Bahrain Cycling Association and organizers of the tour, wishing them success in the second and third stages. The Vice President of the General Sports Authority, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Secretary General of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, crowned the winners of the first stage for a distance of 55 to 60 kilometers. The second and third stages would be held today and tomorrow. Following the, uh, the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to launch the Year of Youth 2022, in addition to His Majesty's directive to name a street in the Kingdom as Bahrain Youth Street, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended sincere gratitude to His Majesty the King on this occasion. In his statement, His Highness said 
that His Majesty the King has always mentioned in several speeches, the contributions of youth and their leading role in the process of construction modernization. His Highness added that the interest of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his patronage to the youth sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain, including the priorities of youth in the government's work program, has contributed. His Highness valued the role played by the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs for their pioneering role in serving the youth and sports sector. And the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended his sincere congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and to the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister, and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the people of Saudi Arabia, marking the qualification of the Saudi national football team to the 2022 World Cup finals. His Highness also congratulated the Minister of Sports and Chairman of the Saudi Olympic and Paralympic Committee, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Turkil Faisal, for the historic achievement, indicating that the achievement confirms the reputation of the Saudi national team at the continental and international levels. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the Saudi national team's qualification for the sixth time of its history to the World Cup, hailing its continental and international achievements and standing. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad praised the distinguished levels of the Saudi players during the qualifying matches, affirming that Saudi Arabia's qualification for the sixth time in its history is a source of pride for all the people of the Arabian Gulf, as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will represent the Gulf region and the Arabs in the Global Forum, wishing the team success in the World Cup. In the presence of the governor of the Southern Governorate, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 26th race of the season. Held for the cup of the late Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, the cup of the governor of the Southern Governorate, the cup of the late Yusuf Rashid Burisli, Chevron Cup and British Jockeys Cup. The race, which was attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race and horse racing fan, was held at the club's racetrack in Rafa, Sakhir. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, has extended profound congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the approval of the Governing Council of the Inter-Parliamentary Union of the Kingdom's request to host the 146th Assembly meeting in March 2023. 
She expressed the pride in the honorable national achievement that confirms the prestigious status enjoyed by the kingdom, led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Zainal asserted that the global confidence is the fruitful outcome of Bahrain's successful parliamentary diplomacy and its distinguished presence at regional and international parliamentary gatherings. She advised that the 146th Assembly of IPU and related meetings will be a historic event as it will bring together the heads and representatives of parliaments from all over the world. And the Kingdom of Bahrain unanimously won the approval of the ruling council of the Interparliamentary Union to host the 146th meeting of the IPU in March 2023. The meetings of the Interparliamentary Union are considered the largest global parliamentary gathering and witnesses the attendance of heads and representatives of parliaments from around the world, where the Kingdom of Bahrain's hosting of the meetings of the Union next year would be regarded as a historical event. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division had participated in the 144th General Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union with the aim of activating parliamentary diplomacy, promoting joint action and building bridges of cooperation with all parliaments of the world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, praised the initiative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support and empower the youth, develop their professional and creative abilities, as well as qualify them to participate effectively in consolidating security and peacemaking and supporting the nation's achievements, its development, and civilizational gains, and to highlight them in various regional and international forums. During a dialogue session organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, on the aspirations of Bahraini diplomatic youth with the participation of senior officials of the ministry, heads of diplomatic missions and sectors, a number of young members of the diplomatic and consular corps in the framework of Bahraini Youth Day. At the beginning of the session, the minister extended gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the unlimited support for young people and to allocate a national day for them to celebrate their achievements, appreciate their giving and to motivate them to achieve more creativity, distinction and responsibility in serving the nation with the support of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports. He affirmed the Ministry's pride in its promising young caterers of diplomats and administrators, expressing his best congratulations to them on their National Day and his appreciation for them in performing their duties effectively, efficiently, with the dedication and sincerity, as well as their keenness on initiative and developing market tasks, work tasks, and their cooperation in a team spirit. During the dialogue session, the minister listened to the youth's views, aspirations in the field of diplomatic work. For her part, the general director of the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies, Dr. Sheikha Munira bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed the Academy's keenness to continue its training programs in a manner that contributes to attracting national competencies and talents within the framework of the foundational diplomatic program, developing diplomatic caters through legal academic capabilities and expertise. Youth caters in the Diplomatic and Counselor Corps pledge to continue working in the service of the country with all loyalty and sincerity in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Ziyani, signed today with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Central African Republic, Silvai Bai. Po Timon, a joint statement on the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries upon receiving the Minister of Foreign Affairs on the occasion of her visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The two ministers discussed ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in various fields to serve the interests of both countries. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,282,820 received the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,216,154 had taken the second dose and 972,947 had taken the booster dose. 
The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 8,187, with 1,211 recoveries, 915 registered new cases, and no deaths. There are 29 active cases receiving treatment and seven patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,466 total deaths, while 539,213 recovered from the virus. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.